Hello, Love 52. How are we doing out there today? This is Tuesday of week 18. And you know what we're doing this week. You know, if you're following along or maybe you're looking at this, maybe you're watching these in like 2022, but maybe you're going in order. And you know that week 18, what we're doing is taking a look at ITEA, right? Not as, not ITEA as loving, but what are unhealthy ways? What are negative ways that we use ITEA? or that idea exists in our life, you know, in, in unhealthy, negative ways, right? Holding resentment, that's negative idea, or it's negative use of idea, right? If I'm excusing my behavior, maybe it's selfish, but I say I'm self-loving, you know, that's negative. And the reason we're doing this is to uncomplicate love in our life. The only reason love is complicated in my life well, there's two reasons. One, maybe life experiences where others have said love and, you know, they used it in unhealthy ways. And there, the times that I've said it when it wasn't. And so I'm taking a look inside here to see what are ways that I use ITEA. And if you're doing it too, great. Only you know if you're being truthful with yourself. Look, today I'm going to share with you about how sometimes idea has existed in our lives unknowingly in an unhealthy fashion. Now, I'll tell you the story and you can see how you relate if you do it all. See, back in the day, back in the 1900s, that was back when my self-confidence was at the, it was low. At the lowest in my life was back in part of the 1900s. And what happened back then because of low self-confidence is I cared about people's opinions about me. Can you relate to that? You know, maybe back then, maybe today. I cared what people thought about me. I cared what people said about me. I wanted to fit in. And so, you know, I was giving power to people's opinions. And I, it didn't matter if I knew them or not. If I didn't know them, but I still cared what they thought about me. Nowadays, I can look back and I can say, well, that's kind of silly and ridiculous. Or, you know, it was, maybe I'd say, well, that's too bad that I did that. You know, but I was, I wanted to be liked, right? So what does that mean? How does that, what does that have to do with idea? I was interested in people's opinions, and, but I wasn't interested in the person. I was giving interest to the words that came out of people's mouth or the thoughts that they had about me. But they themselves were not important in my life. They were not a significant, valuable individual in my life. Can you relate to that? Have you ever cared about people's opinions, but the person you don't care about? I mean, why do we do that? Part of it is because of low self-confidence. And that was a pattern of mine. I gave interest to the words, though I wasn't interested in the person. Time and energy, and I paid attention to their thoughts, to their, if I knew their thoughts, or I assumed I knew them, but I, but I pay attention, interest, time, energy, and attention to their words, to their opinion. You know, that was just kind of exhausting in my life. And if you've gone through it, you know it's exhausting too. It's unhealthy investment of idea. So here's something I did. Now a reminder, this isn't therapy. Maybe it triggers things for you or identifies things that maybe you want to get help on. Here's what I did. I created a list. Now, let me back up. There's a little warning here. I'm going to use colorful language. One word, but you'll hear it a few times. See, I used to play sports. And I knew I did not want to get on the coach's shit list, right? That's a common phrase. You don't want to be on that list. Why? Because you're going to have to run extra laps or extra miles. You'll have to do extra push-ups, sit-ups. You don't want to be on that list, you know. Or if maybe you didn't play sports, but you didn't want to get on your parents' shit list, right? Because then there's consequences, punishment, blah, blah, blah. We don't want that. Well, I took that little phrase... And I spun it and made it positive. I created a list back in the 1900s. I wrote it on a piece of paper with pen. And it was my shit list. But it was a positive one. 
these were the people, because there was a phrase, you know, that's like, you don't mean shit. That means you're not important to me. And so I took that and I spun it and I made this list. These are the people who are important to me. They do mean bleep. I wrote a list and there were about 10 or 12 people on it at the time, made up of some friends and some family. You know, the list has grown over the years because I was back in the 1900s. I've since gotten married, brother-in-laws, et cetera, you know, bigger social network now. But back then I wrote this list. And every now and again, I'd pull my list out if people were looking at me in certain ways or saying things. And I'd look at the list and I'd ask myself, does this person mean bleep to me? Are they on my list? Well, if they're not, then they don't mean bleep to me. See, I learned that I get to decide whose opinions matter. I get to decide if I'm going to be impacted by people's opinions or words. That was empowering. I mean, it helped build self-confidence, right? I mean, imagine if you want to try to offend me verbally, I'm the one who decides if your words mean anything. You want to disrespect me verbally? I decide if your words have any value at all. If I personalize it or internalize it, well, that's on me. But if somebody's not on my list, well, why am I going to give them their words value? And the answer is today, I don't. The answer back then was because it was a pattern, but the pattern changed because I got to decide whose words matter. And you can do that too. See, I'm not interested in giving time, energy, and attention to words and opinions from people who they themselves might not be important, significant, and valuable in my life. I'm not going to waste idea on those words. That is empowering wonder who's on your list. You don't have to do this. I'm just sharing something that helped me. This isn't, a, I'm not giving directions, but I'm sharing what helped me. So nowadays I'm not weighed down by other people's opinions. That is liberating, freeing, and empowering. Keep spreading love, love yourself, and we'll talk tomorrow. Take care. Bye.